Hi, I'm Eduardo Lacha. I am a master in electrical engineering, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Anki to create better flashcards so you can retain more information for long periods of time. Okay, let's go. So, first of all, why use Anki, right? Maybe you heard that math students love to use Anki, but why? Because of exams, better identify symptoms of a patient, of course. In general, to become a better doctor by remembering a lot of concepts. But for us engineers that use more problem-solving skills, why use Anki, right? And the answer is exactly the same. Because it will allow you to retain a lot of information. And you can use that information in more practical examples. Imagine you are in a situation where you need to solve a problem but can't recall the information. Anki will help you to reduce those moments or even eliminate them. If you are a student, it will help you to have all the right answers for the exam and practical assignments. So, the possibilities are endless. But how can we use Anki, right? The first principle you need to know is that in Anki, you become the teacher. This means you have to do the questions and then the answers. Why is this so important? Because by dissecting the content and making the questions, you will have a deeper understanding of the subject. Imagine this, you are a teacher and you are giving a lecture. Your students will make the question, right? And you have to explain the lecture. By making the questions, you test what you know and what you don't know. As Albert Einstein said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough, right? And this concept is essential for active recall. You want to make clear questions and clear answers. So your knowledge is built on strong foundations. Maybe you know this method by the name Feynman Technique. And I think this phrase from Feynman sums it all very well. If you want to master something, teach it. The point number two is related to memory. Probably you forget a lot of information, right? And this is absolutely normal. But there is a way you can retain more information by interrupting the forgetting curves. I'm not going to talk about the science behind the forgetting curves. The only thing you need to know is that by reviewing cards, flashcards, you will retain knowledge for longer periods of time. If you want to check more information, you can go to action not reaction and read the whole article. I will put the link in the description. The final point is you need to memorize a lot of definitions. Imagine you are learning a new language. A common first step in learning a new language is to memorize the 5000 most used words. So, when you're reading a text and you don't know the meaning of every word, the most used words will help you to guide you and learn the context of the other words and the text. So, I hope I give you some guidelines on how to use Anki. 